take a look at that reaching frozen fruit case that's supposedly already warm. See which one it is, what system it is, where it's at. Okay, let's just go through the controller. See if there's any alarms. No alarm. Hit the alarm button. That's the last alarm, 715. That's not this controller. Hit the alarms here. The last alarm was today. That is today's date. Um, we got a frozen region, frozen food case, step one. High limit. That's just a 4 4 region frozen food. So let's go to menu, circuits. Let's go to 4-4. Right now it's at minus two. It's a frozen food, so that's where it should be. Step point is minus five. So let's go into that. Alright, now I'm gonna go and get a graph of this. So I'm highlighting the actual temperature in that case. The actual temperature for that case. So I'm gonna highlight it, I'm gonna hit enter. I do want to graph it, I hit number one, or I can hit enter. Well there's my graph from 89 all the way to 821. Look at that thing. It is all over the place. Let's zoom in on that by hitting F5. Just zoom in on that thing. I'm zooming in on it a lot. I'm going every hour. Even though that's not the date, it's still showing the sporadic temperature. From, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know why they put it green, but that says 20 degrees to, what does that say, 61? Or 65 and it's just jumping all over the place as high as 80 above 80 degrees shoots down shoots back up so obviously that's a sensor issue now we've got to locate this case and the sensor let's go check it out all right good friend showed me how to change the color looks way better now huh Now you can actually see the graph, it's everywhere. It goes up to spikes, 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 and it starts getting worse right here. It goes all the way up to 100, look at that. Past 100, that's insane. So again, I'm gonna, we're, I'm gonna go look for the system. It's over here. I found one here. Four, four. And then it jumps all the way up here. 4B44. Four four four. So on the controller it only says 4. It doesn't say 4A or B, so I gotta check every one of these. And the way I check them is you cut the sensor wire to see, or you heat it up with the lighter. But usually cutting the sensor wire is the way I go because I don't have a lighter. So let me go downstairs and start clicking. Fine. All right, so found the sensor. Nothing's labeled, so I just guessed this one. And I uh, cut it. So let's go up at the controller and see if this is it or not. All right, so this is where I was at. This is the front of the store right here. So I tried these two. There's not even a sensor on here. And that's a uh, 4A. So then I went to this other side, 4B. Not even a sensor on there. But the funny thing is, I went to this side where it's labeled 5050, A and B, or just B. There's a sensor here. That's the one I cut. So, come over to my controller. Guess what? That's my system. None. 
is alarming. So that's my case. Even though it's labeled not my case, I'm gonna have to relabel that as four because it's not 50, that's wrong. that'll go through people understand that and uh, all right so I'm gonna go grab a sensor and go replace it okay look at this it was left open but there's my sensor that's the one I need take some duct tape too and some silicone because I'm probably gonna go run the entire thing which is through the top of the case all right grab my ladder there's my testo 557s nice looking gauge black hoses and these are not the standard hoses; these are the longer hoses too very good in re uh, market refrigeration stuff so my ladder, see you in the side. Okay, there is the hole pulled the old insulation out, which is, I don't know what they use, but that stuff is hard in there. So that's the old sensor. Trace it out, it went under here, so I took it out. I made a hole right here so it could come out because it was really trapped under here. It looked like it was pinching. And there's two types of sensors on here. This wire, or this sensor this is what I need and look what I found in here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it looks rusted. So that could cause my sensor to go crazy. Haywire. So I'm gonna snip these two right here, put my new sensor on and then run it down. Okay, so back here down on the old sensor. I'm gonna have to pull it through this way. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my new sensor. the fast camera work just fishing it up and then hopefully we can do this fairly simple in my hand for a while. connectors and connect those two over there okay I'm gonna use these connectors they have gel inside that protect it from rusting out like before so these are to me I think they're a little bit better than those some people say these are better so tweet your own right all right so I'm gonna connect these two together with those two all right got my sensor hooked up now in there a little bit of gel in there coming out from the bottom same thing with this one a little bit of gel which is awesome all right so my sensor's hooked it's gonna go ahead and tape it down silicone it in the hole and uh, I should be done yeah silicone that sucker pretty good okay now I'm gonna tape it down all right there's my tape. Taped it up. Got it covered. In case they put anything else up here, it'll somewhat be protected. Unless they put stuff like this. And then, then just scar the heck out of it. But so far it's just these little evenings. So 
Okay, I'm gonna go look at my sensor now, see what it reads. Actually, I'm gonna put the honeycomb back in and then see what it reads. All right, so, put my honeycomb back up. There we go. Let's see if I can stretch this in here. see what it reads all right I'm back over here um, at my controller control two, and I'm gonna go to menu go back into my circuit and right now I'm reading nine